Octopath Traveler, Champions of the Continent. A Switch game turned to into a gacha for the sequel or prequel? Honestly, I've heard quite a fair bit about this game, so today let's have a look at what we're getting ourselves into. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be doing an Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent video, a kind of a first impressions. I am essentially taking on the persona of somebody who's kind of just like, oh yeah, I'm just looking for a game. Let's try this one out. No expectations. And so I'm just going to go in and have a look at a whole bunch of different things and see if it's suitable for me. Some of these things include things like mood, atmosphere, music, graphics, like these graphics already are kind of making me like, mm, this is looking pretty spicy. Production value, voice acting, live 2 3D, interface, user phase, battle system, equipment system, gacha, extra systems, like stuff like that, right? And so before I get started, first of all, this is not a sponsored video, but second of all, if you guys did get into the beta, but you guys are trying to find the emulator that will work, the emulator is LD Player 64. However, the version of your LD Player does have to be, I think, 4.0.78. And so hopefully for global launch, when this bad boy gets out of closed beta, that will probably help you as well, considering I tried like Bluestacks 5, 64-bit, and Pi, none of them worked. All right, let's get into this bad boy. But before that, let me turn on the sound. I want to be, I want to be immersed, my guys. Mmm, I do like what I'm hearing. Now let's see if I like what I see. These frame rates are like 30, it's 30 frame rates for sure. So let me just display the frame rate, yes. And uh, it looks like we are going to go through a downloading. Oh no, I should have done the pre-download. I'm sorry, my boys. So uh, just a quick update on the download. The download itself is going to be like 860 megabytes. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow, I'm getting excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting excited. I like this kind of storytelling. It's very, very reminiscent of like, oh man, this Lord, this Lord bomb. Mm. Chef's kiss. All right, and so we've got a cutscene. Oh, here we go. Here are the graphics. Mm. Dude, is it all voice acted? That would actually be really freaking cool. I feel like Revive Witch's graphics might actually be better than this. And that's pretty interesting considering Revive Witch was certainly probably more inspired by something like this. So what I actually really like about this is that we are going through all of this like kind of a tutorial-esque thing whilst we're downloading. Okay, let's touch this screen. Let's see what's going on. Huh? Oh, hello. Do we just straight up get a get a five star? Wait, I didn't even get a pick, bro. What? <laughs> what? So it seems like everybody gets to start off with a five star. So I got Millard the cleric. That's okay. I wanted the thief actually. I wanted the assassin girl. Okay. Uh, I think we're just gonna get a little bit more cutscene. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> and is that gonna be our protagonist? Oh my god. Does that mean I'm going to have to reroll if I play this game for real? All right, guys. It looks like we have some level of interaction possible. So. Oh, okay. At this point, it's only left and right. Rayan H, subscribe. Thank you very much. So we can move left and right. Quick flip to dash. Okay, we can go up and down as well. If you can't move forward while dashing, you automatically stop. Fair enough. Tap an icon to dash that point. What? Okay, so there's a little bit of an element of auto walking, auto pathing, which is nice. This UI though, it's, it's really old school, but it's, uh, how do I say it? It's very fitting. <laughs> when an arrow appears, flick to turn. Okay. Let's, let's flick to go that way. Oh, okay. I, I understand this navigation system. It's kind of cool, actually. Oh, there's a doggo. Hey, little pop-ups. Oh. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Here we go with the battle system. Let's see what we are going to be able to do with our freaking cleric. Who the frick would pick a cleric as their starting unit? Actually, I've done that a couple of times. All right, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got a two times. We've got some options over here. Literally nothing is clickable yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and click hey. attack. Uh, where's my HP? Oh my lord. So it looks like the weaknesses are displayed underneath the health bar of the enemy. I uh, what is... Okay, so he suddenly is now weak to starves. Okay. <laughs> Alright, bruh. And so we are going to then be able to break them. Actually, these mechanics are very, very similar, if I remember, to the Octopath Traveler mechanics. So we can break them by getting their shield points down to zero. Okay, I do remember this. It's actually been a while since I've played Octopath. And so it seems like this is the time to uh, to really lay down into them. 
All right, let's go. All right, and next we've got boost mode. So this is the, okay, it's the boost points. I remember this one as well. So essentially it's like a multiplier if I remember correctly. So no matter what I do, I can use these BPs to multiply the damage or like multiply the effectiveness. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. So click up here. I'm gonna, oh, whoops. Okay, wait, wait a second. Uh, all right, it's not gonna let me go back. Let's go ahead and attack. One, two, three, four, okay. I like that. This reminds me why I was quite addicted to Octopath. Like I was quite in love with the combat system as well as the overworld. And let's have a look at our options. So command memory, formation memory, targeting mode, auto swap and battle vibration. What does this one do? Okay, we don't have any extra targets uh, and we can turn that in. All right, let's just go ahead and attack and finish this one off. All right, so next we've got party boost. It ain't much of a party if it's just me, bro. You can utilize a party boost to assail your foes to turn the tide of battle and more. Okay, let's just try it out. Uh, boost all. Oh, oh, wait, we can use luminescence. Frick, that's kind of sick. We want to break him first, don't we? Okay, let's do that. And then let's boost all. Bam. All right. All right, I'm feeling it. You know what? I'm actually feeling this game. All right, so that was the combat system. And I got to admit, I, I love it. <laughs> I freaking love the combat system. It is right up my alley. And for you people who have played Octopath before, yes, as you could see, it is essentially identical. Like, oh man, they really, really nailed the atmosphere of this game. Uh-oh, I actually just, um, I think I did something quite important that I probably should have shown you guys, but essentially they were asking me what did I prioritize, like power, wisdom, or something else. And I think this is going to actually influence the story. So I'm probably going to go over to, to this one first, into the Frostlands and encounter Titos the hero. Is this truly what you seek? Okay, maybe I can go back and show you guys. Uh, you are about to commence the tale. No. Then tell me of your true desire. And so here comes the cards. And so I can pick... I can pick wealth. Let's pick wealth. I want money. The covetous witch. All right, you know what? Let's go. Let's go to the woodlands for the witch. So yeah, we just need to keep in mind that this is just like where our starting tale is. We can go back and actually finish the other content. My God, guys, just look at these illustrations. It's just like <sighs> chef's kiss. I haven't seen any live 2D yet, but like this game right now, it really feels like a high production single player RPG. Like, it does feel like Octopass second or its sequel. Okay, so we ended up in a bar. What the frick? <laughs> this mood, man. Frick. Just imagine you're playing this like a single player game. It's good. It's uh, Let me just stop here. It's so good that they have nailed the mood, the atmosphere. It feels with the music, with the graphics, with the lighting, the colors. They know what they are doing here. And as far as I can tell, there is quite a lot of voice oh. acting in here. All right, and so we have a new system, a guide new travelers, guide travelers to form a party of eight. What? We can go recruit people, guide new travelers, menu, guide. Oh. Okay, of course, it's, this is the gacha. All right, here we go. And so, oh my God, here are my biases. Oh my God, look at the swordswoman. Oh my God, I love the swordswoman. I love that thief. The dancer is quite good as well, but I would put it like one, two, three as like my biases. All right, so let's go on, guide new travelers. This time you'll get three predetermined travelers without spending any rupees. I love this one over here. <laughs> let's move on. What I do really want to see is the settings though, because I want to see if I'm actually able to bump this bad boy up to 60 FPS and maybe even have higher levels of graphics. I had a look through the characters and Nana is certainly my favorite three star, 100%. There's actually quite a lot of voice acting in this. It's quite good as well. It, it, it feels right. They, they all sound pretty good. Okay, what did we just stumble upon? Influence growth? I suspect this is like to do with the wealth, fame, and power kind of thing. As you recruit more travelers and progress through the story, your influence will increase. Tap the menu, whoopsie. Tap the menu and then influence to see your current ranks, okay? Raise the ranks to receive rubies and traveler skills. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought we were getting like the, you know, getting like cure, getting like double toss or double attack, or whatever. It's actually just, we're going to be getting some flat stats. So physical attack up, elemental attack up, probably agi, speed, defense, stuff like that. Oh, oh, inquire. Oh, wow. Okay. This actually really does feel like Octopath. Holy crap. Bro, these graphics though, they're so freaking good. It's so freaking good. I am in love with this game. I'm going to be honest. Like right now, I am in love with this game. Like my guys, look at that freaking bald head. Oh my God. I don't know why, but it's so freaking glorious. Oh, so it looks like we're not naming our main character. We're naming the band. All right. 
uh the lace band let's call it the lace band <laughs> what the freak so next we've got how to progress the story so we first choose a tail okay so navigation system essentially oh here we go oh did i just walk outside no i want to go back in wait oh this okay okay this is this is quite different from old octopath oh, oh no 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 i don't want to go that way um, like that pathing just then was predetermined. It's not like you can run everywhere. You got to stay on the path. I don't quite like that, but obviously like in line with their design decisions and the amount of time they had to put this out, it's probably something that they had to settle with. All right. So we have the path actions here. Interact with townspeople to make your journey easier. So we can use the inquire button. We can also, oh, this one. So I remember in Octopath, we could actually steal stuff from people. So with inquire, we can obtain possessions, recruit allies and learn information. And so it looks like our influence type is going to affect our actions. Negotiate with leaves, which is the currency, through battle or through probabilities. Mmm, interesting. If your reputation is ruined, try talking to a bartender. They can fix your reputation for a fee. Of course they can. Uh, wait. Oh. Inquire. Here we go. Let's have a look at the system. So this guy is Cragsby, a merchant, a trader from Cragsby, blah, blah, blah. And so we could purchase from his stuff or we could hire him. Let's try purchasing, see what he has. And to be honest, considering we just started out in this game, I know I want that. I know I want an agility earring. But what is cool about this is that we do have the chance to haggle. This is, this is cool. Oh, but we can't hard reset. So in the old Octopath game, what we could do is that we could save before we try to do this stuff. And then we could just like scum reset to like essentially get a 100% chance. And if we didn't succeed, we would just reset and do it again. However, since this is a live game, I suspect we won't be able to do that. So I'm just going to cancel and I'm just going to go like it. Mm, actually, let's try hire him. How much would it cost? So we could haggle him down as well. I reckon let's just do that. Okay, let's just give it a shot. See if we can get it. 45% chance and... Let's see if we can get him. It looks like we got screwed. All right, well, that freaking sucks. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to try try to do this and see if we can reset scum. Let's see if I successfully reset scum. I'm going to try haggle again. Let's see. Okay, we couldn't. We couldn't do it. All right, I know I was being a little bit of a scumbag, but yeah, sometimes it just don't work like that. All right, I'm just going to... Oh, I got him. Nice. Okay, this is what I meant by like... It's very strict pathing. I can't like go up there. I can only go like up, down, left, right where the game wants me to go. So I have to admit like the controls feel kind of janky having to play this on PC. However, I'm sure if you're playing on phone, it will be a lot better. Or it's literally just the fact that like I am not used to it. Oh, we can go into the shop. That's really cool. Oh my God, dude, this actually... Yes, this game is so freaking good. It's like they've really, really built a single player game and just put some gadget elements into it. Let's have a look at the gadget elements, actually. I'm gonna go into the mail. I am going to pick up all of our bonuses, right? All right, regular dev team. We're we gonna get anything, hello? We are gonna get 200 rupees. All right, let's receive all and go do some rolling. Okay, let's go back and let's go to, it was, was it guide? I actually can't remember where it is. All right, I actually clicked the right thing, but it's telling me awakening. Unleash, pause from the, okay. These puns, man. Awakening. Unlocking a traveler's hidden potential using special items is called awakening. Okay, I suspect this is the dupe system. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. So awakening stage one, we get base attributes. Stage two, we get battle skill slots plus one. And we can get special items. Um, all right, this is... um. I can, I can see a lot of uh, money dropping for a lot of people here. Okay, let's X out of this and let's... I can't even do a tenner. I want to do a tenner. What the frick? So guide one time to gain the above bonus. Wait a second. Are they telling me that if I just do this, I will get Millard? And I'll get a soul stone for him or an awakening stone. It's the blue ring, man. These, these freaking graphics, man. What? What? I got a dancer? What? I thought I was getting Millard. All right, and so it looks like we were getting an influence growth because of the type of character we got. The exchange make good use of your extra guide stones and items. All right. Oh my God, there are a lot of systems going on here. Fragment, Millard. Oh, okay. There are, there are shard systems. There are... Okay, okay. Not a massive fan of the gacha from what I can see, but let's have a look at the rates. And it looks like the rates for a five star are going to be coming up to, that looks like about like 1.5%. And then we've got a whole bunch of, wait a second. Does this mean that we can get a four star or a five star variant of Millard? Uh, it's looking a little bit low, you know, like compared to other games that I play, like uh, Princess Connect, Blue Archive. 
it's these rates are looking a little bit low. All right, so let's get out of here and let's have a look at everything else. I want to find the settings. That's the first thing. I want to like make this thing silky smooth if possible. We are on the highest graphic quality and it doesn't look like we have any we have voices on or off. Is this freaking locked to 30 FPS? Ah, God. All right. Okay. Not a fan of that. 100% not a fan of that. Like the UI itself is okay. It's fine. I wonder if I can force it into 60 FPS. And so guys, I just had a quick look at the settings with LD player. I don't think I can force it at this point. Uh, okay. Let's just, let's just stop right there. Let's have a look at the other menus. We've got party. And so I think it's going to be very much like the Octopath system where we have four in front, four in back. Actually, is, did that even happen in Octopath? I feel like we were only able to use like four units at a time or something. I suspect that it probably makes more sense to put like my Millard into the back and my other mages. But otherwise, let's have a look through the equipment. So it looks like there are two slots. Uh, we also have some of these items that give unique effects. So it raises enemy encounter rate by 25%. That's kind of cool, man. Oh, actually there are four slots. So we have two accessory slots, a helmet and a body slot. And we can just go up and down like this. Not bad, not bad at all. Optimize, unequip all. A lot of a lot of the, the very, very familiar stuff. So let's go in and see if we can, oh, it shows you all of the, the cool skills. Okay. And so let's move down to Nana. Let's see what else she can get. Shadow strike, armor break, bruh. Twofold slash. I'm I'm kind of liking I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing, you know. So next we've got the learn skills. Let's have a click on. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, so I don't have enough JP. Okay, I probably have to go out and grind a little bit to actually be able to. Oh my god, that is a lot to max this guy out. That's that's probably going to be quite grindy. Okay, okay, let me stop right there. Let's have a look at the quest menu. We have main story, side story, and traveler stories. Uh, very, very normal, I think. Let's go back to the menu. For me, honestly, the 30 FPS is killing me. That's probably like the main thing that's killing me considering I've played the majority of my games, if not all of them on 60 FPS nowadays. But to be honest, like as for the rest of it, it's it runs really freaking well. Like the systems themselves, uh, the the way that the town is put together, there is a lot of depth in this world. It is quite rich and you don't really find that usually in gachas, although it is a predetermined path as shown by the green carpet. <laughs> I would have to say that I am a fan. I am a, a, quite a big fan of this, but I don't know if I would pick this up just simply because like it feels very much like a single player game. Like I reckon you can probably, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, JP players, because I do believe that this game actually does have a JP version. The way that the systems are actually designed, like I look at the guide, I look at the like low as rates, I suspect that we will be able to clear the entire game like a single player game with the parties and the characters that we are given. And so if you guys are turned off by the fact that it looks like we have low income or it looks like it's, it's a shard system and stuff, if you do like the story, I probably would encourage you to actually go ahead and give this a shot anyway and, and play it with a single player mindset rather than like a live service gacha. Although I do know that it is a gacha, but to be honest, like for an Octopath gacha, this has far surpassed my expectations. Oh, what is this? Let's go out of the town. Oh, wait, this town is massive. Can I like go out to battles or something? So it's probably going to be going down here to the woodlands. Oh my God. I want to talk to everybody. Okay. So it looks, oh my God. Okay. Holy crap. This, this is crazy. This feels absolutely crazy. The fact that this is a like a quote unquote phone game. Let me try. Oh, Okay, I am so glad that we walked into this place because we are actually in like very much Octopath kind of system, right? We can boost. Oh my god, okay. Let's let's just go spank this guy. Okay, holy crap, this really feels like an SRPG now, like a single player RPG. Let's go get that treasure chest. Alright, it's not letting us. Uh oh. It looks like there's a boss. Okay, elite enemies. Alright, so let's go try and beat his ass. It's it's like a little raccoon. Oh, it's a mighty mouse. Oh my god, he's level eleven. Uh, can I run? Oh, flee! There's a flea button. Let's go. No! No! Not like this. All right, let's keep going. Let's flee again. Oh my god! Holy crap! He just freaking chunked me. All right, it looks like I can't get that one over there. To be frank, I would probably main this game if it had better rates or if it had also sixty FPS. It's like for me, I would probably at this point just play through it and like not make any content about it or anything and kind of try to ignore the fact that it's a gacha because like, oh man, like, oh, this is, this is just fantastic.
All right, so let's keep going. Oh man, I can't get enough of this. But you know what, guys? I think I need to stop here. Okay, to be honest, I think these graphics are, I reckon they could be a little bit better. That's not to say that they are bad, but I do think that there, there is a level of detail and touch up that they could do. All right, that's, uh, I think that's enough. I need to stop myself or else I really am gonna get addicted to this. So, I think it's time to wrap this bad boy up. So my guys, in a nutshell, if I'm talking mood, I'm talking atmosphere, I'm talking music, graphics, the use of color, like these guys have nailed it. These guys have nailed it 11 out of 10, 100%. In terms of the production value as well, the voice acting, there is a lot of voice acting in this game. There is no live 2D, but like, you wouldn't really expect live 2D for this kind of game, right? Very much focused on your pixel art, very much focused on those kinds of animations. As for the interface, the battle interface, like the normal outside world overworld interface, the user experience, it it's cohesive, it feels good, it's quite intuitive. Like everything really makes sense as long as you've kind of played RPGs before, which most of us have. However, in terms of like the usability, uh, the lag is honestly killing me. The fact that it's locked to 30 FPS, which I'm hoping that somebody is going to find a way to unlock and go into 60 FPS. I really do think that that is holding this bad boy back. The equipment system itself, the battle system, I think they are all going to be quite good. Oh man, I want to keep playing this. I want to keep playing this so bad. So uh, in terms of the gacha, I, I don't love it. I can't really tell if there's like pity and from what I've actually read about this game, the income is very, very slow where you may be able to like in one month get 20 pulls and for a pity it costs like 200, something like that. I don't love this gacha. So where everything else is like 10s and 11s and 9 out of 10s for me, I would say the gacha probably is more of like a, maybe a 5 or so, a 4 or a 5 especially with these like decently low rates so i i didn't sum it up but that kind of looks like 1.5 percent chance for a five star for me however looking at this one over here it looks like we have the four star variants in which uh i mean everyone could be a four star but really we want these ones up here right so that's 0 0.4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 by 2 1 2 that's 1.4 so that's probably going to be about like a 2% rate for a 4 star that can go to a 5 star. So yeah, unfortunately just not a massive fan of the rates, only because, only because I have been like pretty crazy spoiled by Precon, by Dragalia, by like, you know, the side games games as well as Blue Archive, Revive Witch, etc, etc. Like a lot of the games I've played recently have reasonably high rates. This guy, not really. And so to sum it all up, man... <sighs> I love this game. I actually really, really love this game. And I'm struggling not to actually just freaking go ahead and play through all of it. Oh my God, there's an NPC. All right, and so that said, let me know how you guys felt about this game. Is this something that you could see yourself picking up? And if so, if not, let me know why. What are the reasons as to like, were you being put off of this game or you being so freaking pumped? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving a comment, I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. Please consider a like on the video if you did like it and a subscribe if you would like to see more. But otherwise, uh, as your girl Nana once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.